The, the idea of this clay workshop is basically that our hands are cleverer than our brain. Now we know that our brain tells our hands how to move, but the hands have the intelligence and the idea of this is to allow this to happen. The workshop is about making three heads in clay. One of them will be with the face looking out. The second will be blindfolded and the third will be with a mirror. Probably around 20 years ago, I was teaching in an art school and I kind of felt that the students weren't working enough with their hands. So I introduced a workshop around perception, around visual intelligence to do with making and this idea evolved of the three heads. And sometimes you see really extraordinary things that people make. They just have this ability to explore and imagine and make things which are really special. We're going to demonstrate to you how to make salt dough and we're also going to show you three different techniques in how to sculpt a head inspired by the work of Daniel Silver. It's a very simple process and it's a new way to look at yourself and others and you can exhibit your work at the fruit market online. Today we're going to use salt dough but you might want to see what you have at home already. So maybe you have some play-doh or some plasticine or have a look around your kitchen. Maybe you've got some modelling icing or some marzipan. If you want to make salt dough with us, then it's really simple. You just need three ingredients. We've got some plain flour, some salt and some water. For the salt dough, we need 250 grams of flour, 125 grams of salt, and then also 125 millilitres of water. So this is time to get messy. This is where we'll put in the water into the bowl the salt and the best tool to use is your hands and we're just going to go right in there and start to mix it all together. It should start forming clumps. Try and get it into a ball shape using your hands. It will get messy. If the mixture feels too dry, try and warm it up in your hands and squishing it together between your palms and pushing it together. It's a little bit crumbly, but if you keep warming it up in your hands, just like passing it around your palms, like pushing it until it forms a ball shape. Now that we have our ball of dough, we're going to roughly split it into three pieces. So for our first head, I'm going to sculpt the salt dough and have the head facing away from me so the nose, the chin will be on this side so I can't actually see what it is that I'm, I'm sculpting. So I've started off by pushing and pinching the salt dough into shape and then for the finer detail, I'm using my fingernails to get some finer detail. I'm pinching. Squeezing to make the neck. It didn't take me very long to make that, just a few minutes. And it's good to know when to stop. Don't overwork your, your head. So for this next technique, 
going to use a mirror. So if you just want to place it in front of your face and then grab your dough. And for this, we want to focus on looking at ourselves in the mirror and trying not to look at what we're working on. Just trusting that our hands are creating the shapes that we can see in the mirror. So keep glancing into the mirror and feeling what features you want to work on. I am pushing in where I can see my eyes and then I'm going to work on putting in my nose, squishing that into the dough. Once you've finished, you can place it next to the one that you've done before. Our third technique we're going to do it without looking at ourselves and also without looking at our dough so I'm going to use a blindfold or maybe you have a scarf or you could use a long sleeve top and tie the sleeves around your head so just some way of making sure that you can't see what's going on This one's quite tricky because I really need to think carefully about what my face looks like. You could maybe try having a feel of your own head to feel the different contours, the different shapes. That's enough. So I think I've made all the features. Let's have a little look and see what all three heads look like. Daniel uses a kiln, which is a really hot oven. We're going to use a regular oven. If you're a child, please ask an adult to help you. Put the oven on the lowest setting, which is usually 50 degrees Celsius, and leave until they've dried out. This can take about six hours. For a quicker result, you can use the microwave. On the lowest setting, microwave it for 10 seconds at a time until it hardens. They will also dry out naturally. Try placing them on a sunny windowsill or in an airy cupboard. Once it's dried out, you can add colour using paints or food colourings. So we would love it if you could photograph your heads and we'll include your photographs in the Heads Up exhibition here at the Fruit Market Gallery. It runs from the 1st to the 9th of October. Let me give you some tips on how to take your photos. I found myself a nice plain background here against that wall. Take my camera. Mine's actually got a portrait mode on it, but the direction I'm holding it in, that's called landscape. So I can fit the three heads nicely side by side. And we're looking for a nice close-up shot. I'm holding my camera really still and I'm tapping on the screen so that my camera knows where to focus. Let's see how it came out. Yeah, I'm happy with that. When you've taken your photo, head to fruitmarket.co.uk to upload your picture.